Hello folks, Hoxlow back again and um, in this episode um, I've started to build my very first station other than the PHQ since I've been playing the game. I've, not, I've got over 700 hours playing with all my um, different starts and I still have not yet until now built a separate station. <laughs> so my first station is now in um, that Lasting Vengeance, which is the last sector that I've discovered, which gave me the Explorer achievement, because I've got them all now. And I think, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best looking sector in the game so far. Um, from memory anyway, I can't remember what half of these others look like, but I really like this one. That's the only reason I chose to actually start my first station, which is this one. Um, it's going to be, to start with, a solar power plant and that's the design I'm just still waiting for all this stuff to be re um, yeah all these stuff coming in quite expensive the way I've done it it's, it's cost um, I put in 10 million I think it was 10 million let's have a look yeah it was going to cost 9 million that's it um, was it total 10 million I can't remember it's made by yeah you know, it's, uh, by resources already that's left it was about 9 million and something I think it was so I put in 10 million, it's quite expensive for the first one, but that's because I've got two of them on it and probably because of the way I built it. But it's got two d two loading bay docks and obviously an E up here. Um, so basically that's it for now. It was a 5x5x5 five by five by five slot. I did them all fives, you know when you do the um, calculations for how big you want the box. So I did it as five across five in all of the regions. Not as big as a PHQ, that's 20 by 20 I think. Um, I think. But yes, so, so that's the only reason I stuck it here. And first I um, had a look at the system to see what any of them were buying. And they're not buying anything really in this system. Look, nothing is being bought. But when you click on the ones, they all want energy. There's only one solar power plant here. Where is it? There, solar power plant. I think it's the only one. I'll double check in a minute. My plan is, I've not used any of the security stuff because I've always been getting rid of it, but I'm going to get make sure that that doesn't um, produce any uh, any wares, any energy cells. So <laughs> I'm going to try and hack all the um, terminals to prevent them from producing products so everybody will come to me because this particular sector is uh, the one with most of the... Um, stations in. It's got so many stations and only one power plant that I can see. Our plant and these all want energy so I thought I'd just as well put an energy one in here because I really like this sector. Um, with this particular character he's not going to wage war on any of the uh, NPC sec factions so being in hop because it's hot but look at this sector it's so nice. Just like Kingdom's End in um, X3, which was nice and bright, and it's got so many stations, and I've plonked my station right in the middle. As you can see, it's more or less in the middle of the sector. So all surrounded by all this lot, and they all want the energy, albeit in small lumps, but I've got to get rid of these mines. So let's, um, what shall we do with that? Um, I know what I'll do. I want to, um, getting my small ship. I want to watch it being built because at the moment nothing's built yet. Um, where are we? Let's have a look. If I click on that, target it and then free it, nothing is there yet. You see? You see it's there but there's nothing being built yet because all the stuff hasn't come. So it's a bit empty right now. We haven't got all the gear for it to start. I've got the builder there obviously. Right, let's get into my... let's have a look. Uh, what I want to do, get into my smaller ship. Let these stay here, so I need to get into my little one. Anybody watched my last uh, video and saw my A team? They're really cool, so I've been um, messing around with them. I still need to upgrade the speed on these Gorgons. Um, where's the other Gorgon? Up the top, that's where the ship is. I want to get... Where is he? Is he below or...? Oh, there he is. 
So this is cool. I can now, from space, get into my little eclipse. I don't know if you people were aware of this, but you can actually dock onto them while it's docked onto Docking another one. Granted. There we go. Bit awkward, but you can get in. I love doing this rather than teleporting. Even though the port, you see the port is blocked because it's attached to the station, but if you go towards it, you'll get in. Just go towards it. And in you go. Which is cool. <laughs> and now I can use this. So I hello can... There. Hello there, mate. And I've got a manager set up. He's in one, he's in my, um, one of my other ships. One of the crew, he's got um, two stars in management, so he should, he should, he'll be the manager when I get him down here. But I like doing this watching in the smaller ship. But right now, we've got some mines to get rid of. I want to get those mines out of the way. I don't want those two on. Let's have a look. No, that's it. Right, let's find those mines. Just want to get rid of them. They might, I, I think some of these, when you see these mines like this, they might be from quests that you have to get rid of, but when I see them, Unknown I just get rid object. of them. I just get rid of them. So let's go to it and get rid of it. Hopefully. It's probably more than that there, showing. They only show how I many is there, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably more than six. But the others aren't marked up, so you've got to be careful. And in this particular sector, because they're nearly the same colour as the background, it's a bit awkward. So you've got to try and get into a position where you can see them in the black background. Which is a bit awkward. I need to up the speed on this ship as well. Go quick. And of course, one blast from that and I'm dead. In this ship. It won't just take out the shield, it'll take out the whole ship. Um. Yeah, I need to get below it then, to see black is up there. So we need to get below to see the others. So if we go from down here... ...and face upwards, hopefully it will be a black background. There we go. There. See, we can see the others that aren't marked with a question mark, hopefully. A bit easier. Right, we're in range, so we should be able to get that one. That's that one. We'll get all the question mark ones easy enough, hopefully. Unknown object. Unknown object, but well, we know what they are. Oh, come on, we're down. We're going down now. Whoops. Difficult to see. You can just see it in this blue haze, but with that brown background, hmm, a bit difficult. We don't get blown up. There's bound to be more than just the question marks. So far that's been my experience, there is more. They're just not marked. Okay, that should be close enough, I think. There we go. Whoa! There we go. They're easier to target with the question marks if you do like this. Object. But it gives you a, s a sense that there's no more, but there is. From what I've found, there is more than just the ones that are marked. See, there's two there against the black background, but there will be more, I think. Let's hope it proves me wrong. Don't want to look for all of them. But that's my plan here. I do like this sector, it's really nice. Oh, let's check the others first. Not too close. See now the question marks have gone. Yet there were two there still with question marks, so there'll be more than just those two. Well, they're shitting along there, I can't see them. <laughs> hmm. Don't want to fly into them. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Where are they? Let's take my cab off. Let's see them better. Don't see them. I'm going to 
we'll quickly do a save just in case I become a cropper. Hmm. Now I know there's two that we haven't shot for definite because the question marks are there. And that sometimes happens when you get the question marks and target like that. When you hit one of them, the other two question marks go, or how many of that were left. So they're not so easy to find until they blow you up. <laughs> well, let's go down then. Let's head towards the planet side and then come back up into the black sky. See if we see any. No, oh no, that brown colour. It could be anywhere. Hmm. Nightmare. His scanning won't do anything. Won't bring up the question marks again. See, nothing. Um. When I go bang. No, don't see any. Oh, I know there was two here. Oh, damn. Worse than a needle in a haystack, innit? <laughs> no, lost the area now where they were. Could have gone miles away from it by now. Oh! No, I thought I saw some. No. Let's stop and do a spin round. If we see the see, see against that background, that would be impossible to spot. Unless you're right on top of it. No, I'm not going to find these now. Not unless I find them by accident. Okay. Let's go back to the build. <coughs> Factory. Factory, because it's not started yet. <laughs> and we'll go straight in. Oh, look. Is that it? No. <coughs> I thought that was one there. Look. See? That little mark there. Just there. But it's not. No, it's not one. It's probably one of the ships. Yeah, I like this sector, I really do. Um, oh, let's get my ship back, shall we? <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice and bright, I love it. With that planet down below. I haven't heard any, I'm now running one, 160, version 160. I haven't heard any of the old uh, music tracks yet, but I haven't gone to many different sectors yet. So it'd be nice to get listen to some of the old music again, because some of them was good. But I haven't noticed that it's not playing that much music. Let's get a little bit quicker. And I'll pause it and um, get back to you when they actually start building. So yeah, going to be my first station. I've got to get my um, other ship that's got the manager into this sector. Uh, still no build started. Let's see. Oh, look at my team, so cool. My A team. I still haven't upped the speed of the uh, Gorgons. They're always the last to arrive when they've been following us. Oh, he's moved, look. I wasn't there when I left him. Why are you moving? <laughs> I've got them all the same colours and I've coloured my one. Where is my one? Where is my one? That's not my one. Is that my one that's been moving? Yeah, it's my one. He's got the um, one of the paint new paint jobs I've got, which is the um, Aldrin paint job. The Aldrin uh, ship colours, which is cool, white and cream. 
Isn't that cool? Just looking at that. How's the stock coming? Let's have a look. Oh, stop. Let's see how long we've got to wait. Uh, plan build. Resources available, all parts, energy cells. Oh, there's not much being come, coming in, is there? It's going to take a while, I reckon. They haven't even started on the dock yet. That needs, what's it need? Let's have a look. Ooh. Need 625 Claytronics. Energy cells 1,250. Well, it's got enough to do that. Whole parts it needs. It's got enough whole parts. It's just Claytronics we're waiting for before they get started. Um, resources to complete changes. Mm. At the moment, now we've got only that coming in. Whole parts, nothing else coming in yet. Maybe I ought to get some of my ships to get some of this stuff. We'll see. I'm quite happy to mess around and wait. So, I'll get back to you when they start building guys. It might be a while, so catch you soon. Okay guys, I'm back. I've had to use um, four of my ships to get the Claytronics. That one's just presumably delivered the whole parts as he's going through the building thing look <laughs> oh yeah you know instead of backing off and coming down they go through it is he going to hit the friggin yeah he's going to hit the builder I'm sure he hit the builder there did he? is he going underneath it or is he this side of it? it's <laughs> deceptive isn't it where he is I quite like them the long the big ones but they're so slow um, I don't know whether it's worthwhile buying one or two for later on. We'll see. Because um, Starlight Industries is going to be big eventually. With me it is eventually. I do play slowly guys. So I don't rush anything. Um, yeah, what I've done now, because nobody's bringing um, Claytronics. Nobody. Yet it's being sold by all the trading centres. And so I've um, what I've done... I've used my four, because I've got four spare here, I've got three vultures and a turn, which I just, just used for messing around with. Um, and I've got them, bringing them, look, there we go. One, two, three, four. They're bringing all the Cratonics. What's expensive though, so a million a pop to fill them up. Um, so that's, what, four million, probably about five millions worth there in Claytronics. Um <clears throat> Yeah, quite a lot. But they'll get here eventually, so... You see, is that... One minute to get here, or... I don't know what that... I still do not know what this means. Whether that's zero, that means he should be in this sector. Let's have a look. See in here. Don't see him. I was always assuming that those numbers would be that it's one sector away, or whatever. Or maybe he is. Is that him there? Yeah, there he is. Number three, was it number three? Let's double check again. Oh, my memory is terrible. Um, plan build. Oh no, it's number one, that's one away. Number three is two away. So number one should be here. Working on that hypothesis. Um, but he's not. Land exchange, where are we, where are you? Lasting vengeance, number one is here somewhere. Where is he? Highlight him. Don't see him anywhere. Target him. Let's target him. Oh, wait a minute, that's it. Ah. Oh, that's why I can't see him. He's there, look. Where are you going? Um, has he dropped the word? No, he's got spray tonics on him. Cool. I like watching him, guys. Sorry. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Let's target him. I'm sick like that, I just like watching him come along. He's stuck there or what? Right, F3. Is he calculating parameters? Please don't say he's calculating parameters. That means I'll have to... What am to him? If he... Ah! 
for some reason he's gone. Let's hope he'll come back. I've got a feeling. They've got a problem, they're calculating parameters. No, he's alright. Where's he going? I think the other one went back into the gate. If you see an option here where it says calculating parameters and they keep on doing it, you need to go out of the sector, which is a pain in the butt. Because they'll sit there calculating parameters and won't actually go towards where you want them to go. But it looks like that bug is still in the game. Where are you going, fella? Yes, he's come back, look. Yeah, he's come back. Bang the wrong way, of course. Seems to be having a problem, didn't they? Let's target him. See what he says. Not saying anything. It's a bit weird. They're just hanging around here. He's going back in the gate. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Let's do something I don't like doing. Um. Let's teleport to my station. Entering system. Grand exchange. Okay, let us settle down. Now see what they're going to do. Now where are they going? Are they actually moving toward it? Yeah, look, they're now moving toward it. I don't know why it does that. They get stuck up on your own ships, get stuck if you're in the system when they're doing something. And to, to get rid of that is to uh, teleport somewhere else. And let them carry on. Let's see what happens. I'm going to teleport back. Um, I don't want to watch them. You should be able to. So where are we? What up? Do not wave at the station's security cameras. Distracted operators lead to undetected crime. <laughs> love that. I love that. Do not wave. Um, that's the one I'm in, isn't it? Where are you? Pulsar, Pulse Plasma. Teleport back. Entering right. system. Argon Prime. What? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, it wasn't a Pulsar, was it? Where are we? Oh shit. I don't know which one I went into. What a, what a twit. Eclipse Pulse Plasma. There we go. Last invasion. Chippy boy. Teleport 2. There we go. <laughs> That's the only good thing about the teleport function is a distance. Entering system. Which is cool. Lasting vengeance. But I think it also can muck up the system. Mucks up what guns you're showing and all the rest of it. Right. Let's see if we can. If they're actually going to do anything now. I'm back in the system. Oh, they're, they're getting close. Both together. But see if they get stuck again. Come on, Anun, come on. He's not actually moving, look, is he? Oh, he is. Sometimes it looks like they're moving and they're not. <clears throat> but it normally tells on here, trading with that he's got the stuff on double check okay, he's got 425 claytronics not watching make sure that he actually drops the stuff
I don't know why no, no NPCs were actually bringing the Claytronics at all. I waited quite a while. <clears throat> Maybe I've got the price set. Well, I've got the price set at 50% average, so it works on the um, PHQ fine. I don't see why it shouldn't work on this one. Maybe the location, I don't know. So maybe that Claytronics would be a good option to put on here as well. We'll have to have a look at that later. Because no one was bringing any. Yeah, there is there are there there is Claytronics available. Because I managed to get it easy enough. Or maybe I had it on the wrong price on the building thing. Yeah, he's he's, like, he's um, docking. I think, but it still doesn't say docking. Normally, um, would say docking on here. Got no commands there. Look. Maybe on his info. Let's have a look. Um, I don't know, location, Vulture, Vanguard model. Yes. Normally it says it here. It's not saying anything. Oh, yeah, go on. Oh, the other one's here already. They're both here, look. Knocking on it and not docking. <coughs> oh, come on. I think the one way of doing this. Put Sator on. And it sometimes helps to get them going through. Oh, this is ridiculous. They're getting well stuck in there, aren't they? Right, they've got them out. Now they've managed to go to the centre. Now they'll dock. Okay. Dock at Bill's story, see? Docking. That's what he wanted to see. But sometimes Sator helps out there. If you're in another ship watching. And in we go. Now hopefully with the two of them delivering enough to start the first build off. Have a look, see what I needed. Now go away. And Bill. Yeah, they started. Okay, cool. The build started. Let's get back in the ship. Let's see if we can see something now. Let's have a look. Factory. Hopefully we'll see something happening. Do I see any? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't see any drones flying around. Because this is the first one I've built from scratch, I want to see it started. I want to actually see it. You know, come on. I'm missing something here. Are there any drones going back with the forward honours here? Where's the building? He's freaking miles away, isn't he? Let's see if there's any um, drones coming out. Coming back with some forwards. It's quite a long way off, isn't it? Builder. Peter, it's not our own because we'd see our own. I've got, I've got a builder, but oh, they are. They're, they're coming in and out. Just saw them. But there they go. So they must have started somewhere. But I don't see the build. Oh, here it is, right here. Look. Oh, my ships are in the way. Maybe. Oh, look where the centre is, though. It's miles from there. I thought we were there. Oh, this is cool. <coughs> Here we go. Our first standalone station. You know, I think the um, best looking um, sector, Hope here, that is a hop sector. But anyway. Yeah, it would be boring for you lot, wouldn't it? So, um, I'll pause it here. I'm going to sit here and watch it, mate. So, I'll catch you in a moment when it's all done, hopefully. So, see you in a moment. Hey folks, back again. It's completely um, finished now. As you can see. Um, I did actually forget to put the container storages on, so I had to do that prior to getting to this point. So, um, I did a bit of SATA work as well to get it done a bit quicker. But, um, yeah, it's done now. And I've just bought a um, Mercury, which has just landed, as you can see this one here and another point that I've discovered obviously I'll stop stop moving um, the center of the 
the build is obviously over there behind the um, array of um, solar panels now I've just realized obviously trying to keep the center away from any other building that you're doing is a good idea because they fly to the center first and then land so what he did when he came he flew around in into the back of the station and then came in and landed with no hitting nothing so it's uh, obviously I think now a good idea let's click on the station and see it's there six kilometers away from where I am here which is over there but if I um, click on the station and do a F3 there we go now the center is there so that's where the, all the traffic will go to first but if you can try and get it build it I think so that none of the buildings obstruct their path onto the landing site they won't hit anything hopefully and so the best idea then is to go down from where the center is because I built the loading docks lower than the center of the building it's best to build down now instead of up because if you go up I mean they do go down and go through this area here to get onto that uh, just to the medium sized ships it's not so bad for the bigger ones well the bigger ones would do the same wouldn't they they'll come to the center first and then go around I'll have to um, get my um, builder to come and see how he docks see how that works anyway what we've got to do now is I've restricted the um, buying at the moment because I had it running a little while um, where are we playing funds and go there and we haven't got many energy cells yet we've got 20,000 at the moment I've restricted because I haven't got a manager on yet and I'm gonna undercut I don't think um, solar power plant that's on this system sells it for a very high price so until I um, hack him I'm going to undercut him. Let's have a look, see how much he's selling for. He's selling at 14.50, so I can sell at 12. And uh, hopefully they'll all come to me until I hack him. And then they will all come to me. <laughs> um, <coughs> I said I wouldn't be a naughty boy, but I, I've got to get some profit out of this. So the only way to do that, because he's the only solar power plant in this area. And I don't think there's one in the next two sectors. So this one should do okay, hopefully. But anyway, I've got to put a... Um, Let's get back in the cockpit. Got to put a manager on, obviously, and I've got a, I've got my miner here, which is my own one, which I sometimes use if I feel like mining. And he's got one with um, a crew member that's got two stars in management. So let's grab him. Oh. Um, where are we? Yeah, these cops are crooked here. They're, they're, they're calling uh, my ships that have got no contraband and telling them they've got contraband. So they must be planting it, the little sods. <laughs> they're so stupid. But anyway, um, where are we? I've lost him. I like HQ mine, huh? No, it's the HQ one. Where are we? I want to go... What we've got here? Go here. There we go. Kits miners, here we go. Um, information. Crew crew list one of them has got two stars so he's able crewman he's got two stars in man there you go look two stars in management one star in morale and two stars in engineering which is good so if I com him can I help you can work somewhere else and that's here select manager assign acknowledged acknowledged there we've got ourselves a manager Look, look, look. See that? He keeps annoying up my, my ships. He's constantly here, this twat. Wish we could shoot him, but then we'll get the whole lot onto us. Um, but my ships have got no contraband, but he's telling us we have. <laughs> Stupid game, but anyway. Okay, that's the manager done. And that's the ship. And look at the, um, the pilot stats on this one, so cool. Uh, where are we? Captain Daniel Clayton, piloting four star, his own four star. That's just, you know, I've just bought that and um, docked him here. Um, so when I'm ready, I'll use this one to um, 
be a subordinate of this particular station. Anyway, let's get him back to auto mining. Um, let's have a look. So if you look on all your miners, check all your miners if you've got a load, if you need a manager. Miners seem to get their um, crew up quite quick on the uh, management side as well. So auto mine, hardware, silicone. I just want him to auto mine silicone. There's none in this sector, so he'll, he'll disappear. Oh, there he goes again. He's doing another one. See, he's, he's talking to my pilots a little shit. <laughs> and they're obviously complying with him. Um, and there goes me, um, I call him Kits Miner. Because I sometimes feel like mining myself, so I use that one. Um, so yeah, done done and dusted now. We've got, uh, I'm now going to let him... Solar power plant. Logical overview. That's so I've got a manager in it probably. And they can now start selling. So hopefully we'll get some come along. Um I'm restricting leaving it at twelve credits for now. And do we need any drones for now? I don't know. Um restock drones automatically, I'll just leave it at repair drones. Oh they've already I didn't put that on there. Hmm. Let's put a couple of let's put ten defense drones on. That's it. Okay, we'll leave that that. That's all we need to do for the time being. I may actually extend this into a Claytronics farm. So we'll see. Because there's no Claytronics being sold anywhere except for in... Um, what do you call it? The big retail ones. Where's he going? Who's that one? Oh, it's Kit. He's going. He's, he's going to piss off, I expect. He's not going to mine in this sector, because there ain't none, I don't think. Oh, he's probably going to look first. Anyway guys, that's it, my first station, I'm quite pleased. Especially in this area, because it looks so cool. I just like the area. That's why I did it, I didn't do it because it's going to be good for me, money-wise. <coughs> it might be though, with only that one solar power plant. What I've got to do now, is find some... <coughs> stuff that I've been throwing away. <laughs> decryption mods to um, sabotage their their production line for a little while we'll see how it goes so um, that's my plan anyway but yeah I enjoyed that getting that up first one and a good tip about that I think is because it plonks the, the center mark down is to build away from the center if you can depending on how big you want the plex and um, they'll land without keep on hitting it I'm going to test that out. So I might show that now because I'm going to call up my, um, what do you call it, my uh, builder. Look, we've got one landing. Have we got, oh no, that's a stupid cop. Wish we could shoot him. ECS, Sentinel. Yeah, wish we could shoot him. He'll, he'll keep on harassing my guys, a little shit. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, well, I'll pause for now and I'm going to get my mammoth, not me, but yeah, mammoth to come over and see how he docks. And I'll show him show you how it works here at the moment so see you tomorrow hey guys I was busy on uh, in the menu system didn't notice this big one coming in but he didn't go to the back um, he went straight to the front which is cool he didn't have to actually get stuck on anything so he's buying um, but I didn't notice it until I just come out of the menu he'd already docked but I didn't see him go that from that end he just came straight in which is cool We'll see how I've ordered my um, builder to come, so I want to see how he actually approaches it from the gate. If I'm facing in the right direction, because I did it ad hoc, I didn't look at anything to see which direction the piers were in. Is he going to hit the thing? It doesn't really matter when he's going. So he's our first little um, buyer. So how much... Solar power plant. Information, see what we made, if anything. He had six million in it. We made two hundred twenty-two thousand six hundred and eighty. That's how much we made just then on that one buy. He just bought twenty-two k's worth. So it's coming slowly. But that's the thing with the energy. It's always slow. It's in the X Games, energy is always sellable, but it's a slow way of earning money. It's not a quick way of earning money. Um, but I never earn money quickly in these games anyway. 
700 hours playing these um, games so far and the most I've got is 200 and something million you know that's how slow I play um, but yeah I get to see all the game that way anyway I'll catch you in a moment when my dear old uh, construction guy gets here so see you in a moment let's come back again um, my builder's not here yet I just wanted to show this look slowly but surely they're coming I've got one just landed just now and two more in the pipeline he wants 1,200, he wants 810 and the small one that's on here now actually went back to the centre and came in and landed really nicely without hitting the building or anything so my design by accident is working so yeah cool, off we go so we bought, we sold some already slowly but surely and that's just in a few minutes anyway again I'll be back in <laughs> sorry guys see you tomorrow okay I'm back again now my illustrious constructor is here and um, if he follows the same path as what the other big ones are doing they do go to the center look he's heading for the center but they don't get blocked in any way or they haven't the NPC ones haven't look I've got another one there that's docked there I want to see which route my one takes He's all silver-ish, silver paintwork this time. So um, yeah, let's see what he does. Can't remember what pilot it's had in him because I haven't put it in for ages. Let's have a look. There's only two star that. Not a very big star pilot, but hopefully he'll do. I really want to see how they, my ship, big ones to actually negotiate this particular build so this is all planning for a future build so <coughs> so if you do it below and above the centre line because the centre of the station is here somewhere now they get they get through quite easily they just go over the top and then come down They don't get stuck on these. Let's see what our pilot does. Don't you think that view is so cool? It makes it look um, much better like this, where you see the planet below. More a sense of distance, you know? So cool. Where are you going to go, Mr. Constructor? He looks like he's going up and above. Shall we say to it, shall we? Yeah, go on, let's say to it. Yeah, he's going above. Another one coming in. They're coming in quite regularly now. Look, I'm getting loads. Because I'm undercutting the uh, the local's price. Oh, he's going below now. Oh, cool, he just goes round. Doesn't get stuck then. Where is he? What's he doing? Docket style engine lasting engines here, yeah, but you know, you're not docking. <laughs> Beta's still on, isn't it? Yeah, it's still on. Punching around. But the builders do take a lot longer than the others, don't they? They seem to. <coughs> well, I hope he's going to dock. Take Sator off. No, looks like just sitting there and then Sator on again. Hmm, why won't he dock? Ah, has he woken up? <laughs> <coughs> Did he go to sleep for a little while? Oh no, he's come back to sleep again. <laughs> God, it's taken him so long. We've got customers coming left, right and centre though, by the looks of it. And they're managing okay, look at him there, see it, they go straight for it. Or maybe it's because there's a queue, is that it? You see he's getting on okay.
No, well that means this one must be docking to the centre. So he's, he's been done. <laughs> oh my god. Taking forever. Is he actually going to dock? And this is with Sator on, so it's taking him ages. Oh well. I think he probably will eventually get there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little um, episode. Got my first station built, other than the PHQ, because I've done that before, haven't I? Well, I've never built one on its own yet. So um, let's hope he does eventually get docked on. I might give the instruction again in a minute. Anyway, guys, I thank you very much if you got this far. And I'll catch you in my next one.